You gotta be kidding me. Is this a lock on that? Something's in there. everybody how you do it today i'm out here i think in richmond heights and i bought this unit kind of a gamble unit kind of not a gamble unit and you're gonna see why i was looking at it with uh, mr super shane here and he said rob i think the one item in there is probably worth maybe half of what you're gonna bid so go ahead and bid on it i think i bid almost 900 dollars on this unit ladies and gentlemen it's a lot of money i really didn't want to go that high but i'm in a position where i can go a little higher than most so i took a gamble i'm going to show you why i took the gamble We'll see if it pays off. Hopefully it does. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. It's free. It's the most easiest thing to do. Just subscribe. There's a little bell. You hit that bell. gives you notifications. notification. says, where I put out a video, where I put out a little short. You guys just don't know. So make sure you hit that notification. So much awesome stuff. Go to horror houses, storage units, and let's take a look inside. Holy smoke. So I spent... Yeah, $900, a 5x5, five five. not my typical buy, huh, Shane? Usually I don't spend that much money on a 10x20, 10x30, 20x40, whatever. I, you know me. I like the bigger, the better. Whoa, I didn't really notice this thing. What is this? I said it has a repair tag, so that could be a good sign, like it's fixed. Oh, it's Yamaha. Sorry, I had to sign some more paperwork. So let's take a look at this Yamaha. It's got to open somehow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is a PSR 6300. So I'm not sure what that's worth, but it looks like an expensive keyboard to me. It has speakers on the side. Or, man, has this, all this. This could be, could be the unit right here. Who knows? Oh, it's heavy. And electronics, when it's heavy, that's good. And something. You know, I got a little strainer here. But look at this, there's more keyboards in here. And this is one of the reasons that Shane and I liked it. We looked at this JX8P Roland and it could easily be four or $500 right here. And I didn't, we couldn't tell what this was from the pictures. Oh, but look at that. That's another Roland and Roland, I was telling Shane, it's like the Gibson or Fender of keyboards. It's one of the best out there. You can't, I mean, most professional players are playing Rollins. So we'll have to look up the Juno one, but let's just say the one keyboard 200, this one's 200, that one's 200, that's 600 bucks. We got a lot of our money already back and we, and the reason I bought it, we still haven't got to it. It wasn't because of keyboards, trust me. I like keyboards, but this box is pretty nice too. Pretty nice. And there's the reason I bought it. Show them, Shane. So it's a taped up jewelry box. I kind of liked it because they kind of had it hidden out of plain sight. And then I like this old box that looked on, on top here. And of course the keyboards, like Shane and I were saying, probably going to pay oh, for the unit. Ooh. Man, that's so heavy. It's so heavy. Wow. So these three keyboards here, hopefully that pays for the unit, but oh, I didn't even realize this. I thought it was just a drawer. It's a box. It's not just a box, it's locked. A locked box. Ho 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 ho. Things just got interesting. What do you think, Shane? I'm liking it even more. This unit's getting better and better, huh? Woo! Guess what I got in the car? Hopefully lock cutters. I got a pair of bolt cutters. I swear I got them in the back of the truck. I'm prepared to Shane today. Oh, wow. It would have probably went for even more money, Shane, if they would have saw that, huh? Holy smoke. 
That's a big old trunk. Well. Oh, nice. Brand new. Glow shift performance gauges. I don't know what it's worth, but it's gotta be, it's brand new. It's gotta be worth a few bucks. So this unit keeps getting better and better. Look at this box. This is $15. Woo -hoo -hoo, what's in there? I like what I see so far. Man, I get to sit down for once. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this right here first. That looks like real pearls. Some kind of beaded work. That looks like more pearls. Need add on pearls, too tight. That's a good sign. So we got some little bit of jewelry in here. Oh wow. Are these real stones? Oh, that could be gold right here. That could be some gold. But the things that we're finding jewelry in here, I'm feeling better about that jewelry box. What about you, Shane? Definitely. Definitely, definitely have some jewelry. Wow. Like I said, these look like real pearls. Oh, see, it goes right into our bag. Look how long those are. So we got strands of pearls. We got jewelry. And a cool box. Oh, I didn't see that, Sean. Look, right here. I'm going to put it in the light here. Let's see a diamond. Could be a diamond right there. Don't want to lose that. And that box, that box is awesome. Man, I can't believe we got the lock box, the jewelry box. Man, I'm excited. And we already got those keyboards. So between the three keyboards, the jewelry... Lockbox, whew. All right, where to go next? Oh yeah. And this is a glass one. The glass ones are more desirable than the metal ones. And I've seen people put lights behind here and it looks really cool lit up behind there. So this is a national washboard company. You know what that was for, Shane? Uh, washing your clothes. You, you know what you actually did with this? Yeah, you rub your clothes That's against it. it. Rub them right there so you can get that, that dirt right out. Look at that box right there. Look at that box right there. Oh, this is getting better and better. This just looks like some soft pillows and a hot plate. Ooh, those are soft. Soft. Says canning tools. We got some canning stuff in there, some woods and stuff. Oh. Huh. I think we got a car tire down there. This unit has a little bit of everything. Oh, this is a double boiler. I guess it's a double boiler and glass. Pyrex, yeah, Pyrex double boiler. That's worth a few bucks. This looks like probably a Pyrex bowl in here. Yeah, Pyrex high dish. And another piece of glass. Ooh, Teleflora. This looks pretty fancy though. Two tone. What do you think about that? That looks like vintage goodness. Mm -hmm. And there's a lid in there. Oh, it's heavy. That's a good sign. All right. Didn't have what I thought would be in there. 
husky hammer, some tongue sockets and tools. Interesting. It's a nice little case. I wear the tool, so. No, I the tool. Anywhere. What the heck is this? Some kind of box in here, Shane. You gotta be kidding me. Is this a lock on it? Something's in there. There's some kind of piece of cloth. So I don't think it's tools. It's getting suspenseful. Ooh. Driller box, two lock boxes. So far I'm a fan of this unit. The Aurora made. An old heavy duty metal fan. And people love these metal fans because they blow the air. You never had a metal fan, you don't know how it moves the air compared to a plastic fan. Plastic fans bend, metal fans don't. They push the air better, faster, trust me. Oh, what's here? Is that what I think it is? Flat screen. A little flat screen television, a little dusty. This is a heater up here. Or pass some pans. Oh, come on, look at this. Paul Revere, brand new. These are good pans. These are this probably like twenty, thirty dollars right here. There's another one here. That's another one here. So that's good. These are little things that all add up. Help me get my money back. And what the heck is this? <laughs> Where do you see this thing? Holy smoke! This old Milwaukee drill, this is heavy duty. I don't even know what the heck this thing is for. What is that for? Do you know? I have no clue. I've never seen an attachment like that. Yeah, me neither. I wonder what that's for. Huh. If you guys know what it is, let us know in the comments. Well, that's worth probably another 40, 50 bucks. It says pasta machine, that's probably attachments. Yep. That's a pasta machine down there. Looks like a little espresso machine. Huh. Oh, nice. Nice. This is a military burner or whatever, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if this is the one I'm thinking it is, this is probably worth like $50 to $100. This one right here. 50 to 100 bucks, right here. This unit just keeps giving and giving. Now let's take a little peek. A little peek. Ooh, there's stuff in there. That's a sign. That's a sign. Clothes can be heavy. Oh, something's in there, Shane. Oh, there's clothes. This is a mink, but it's a teddy bear. Pretty nice teddy bear, actually. And it's by a Boyd's. It's a Boyd's bear. Those are collectible. Oh, right there. I see a box. I've got purses over here. Is it an iPad? An iPad? I think it's right here. Oh, Shane's got the good eye. Big. Oh wow. That doesn't look old. Doesn't look old. Look how thin it is. That's big. Apple iPad. That's probably a few hundred bucks, right? Two hundred sure. bucks maybe? For sure. Guess wallet. Is there anything in there? I guess not. 
Oh, there's some stuff in here. Oh, we got money. Yeah, baby. Woohoo! Can't go wrong finding money. Oh, that's what we heard down there. We got some candles, perfume. Launch set. Invicta. It is Invicta. Well, that's even better. And that's some money right there. I like that. Unicorn. What is this? Smoke. It's a vapor. Okay. More stuffed animals. Blankets. This is on an iPad. Clone. And some money. The question is going to be what is inside this trunk? We found that lock box. And we got this jewelry box. This says kitchen. But we can't trust everything we see in this unit. Oh, what's that? <laughs> silver spoons? Is that really silver spoons? This is long and narrow forks. Corks. Sheffield, new one. There's another one boot wrapped up in here. These are community plate. They're probably silver plate too. Yeah, that would be silver plate. Interesting. Oil lamp. Oil lamp. And then, oh my gosh, and. Insulators. Look at this, we got a glass insulator collection. All different sizes, shapes, colors. Glass jars on it. I think it's all insulators and a piece of wood. All right, Shane, jewelry box, lock box, or that box? I guess we'll have to get the cutter, so let's go in the jewelry box. There's definitely some jewelry in there. Not as much as I was hoping, but we don't need a lot. Ooh. It's a Zippo. Fraternal Order of Eagles. Pocket knife right here. That's a Gerber pocket knife. That's good. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that was cool. But this pocket knife, that Zippo lighter, that's some cash. So we got a ring up here. This old Canadian two dollars. Nineteen fifty four. Bank of Canada. Oh Canada. Ooh, right here, Shane. We definitely got some jewelry. Not as much as I was hoping out here, but we definitely got some. See a sterling ring. 
You see, we got more sterling rings back there. We got an Indian arrowhead. We've got a cross. This whole thing is there's a bunch of rings back here. Sterling silver. Let's see, I lost that. That looks like sterling. All kind of earrings. So who knows? We got more drawers to go here. Wow, what the heck are these? I don't know what those are. Some kind of phone in here. Watch band, not much in this one. Some pills. We got a lot of jewelry. At least there's stuff in the jewelry box, so that's a good sign. It's so full of them. Something's holding it up. Oh, it's so good here. Pocket knife, Got the jewelry box. Got the watch. Another pocket knife. Another pocket knife. Some jewelry down here. We got money. Huh. Now, the good thing about the jewelry boxes, you got the sides, right? Oh, oh yeah. So, we're definitely right. There's stuff in the jeweler box. Let's check out the other side. Some silver. If I see any gold though. This looks like it's silver right here. This could be silver here. And that's sterling right there. You see it's that little circle part there. That's Mars. So definitely got sterling. Nice little jewelry box. We got two boxes with locks on them. Yeah, cut off both of his locks. See what's inside. First, we gotta go get the lock cutters, so we gotta take a load downstairs. Uh, this is cut through this lock shed. Like butter, baby. Alright, moment of truth. What the heck? Interesting. Interesting. Kind of pipe, some kind of crystal. So definitely got drug paraphernalia. Looks like. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow, it's actually a look at. That. It has a watch on that side. This side has a temperature and it's all brass. That's a nice piece right there. It can actually be worth 50 bucks or so. This goes into the table lighter. You got a Playboy wallet.
So we definitely found some uh, paraphernalia. Filters, Blackhawk. I'm assuming this is a vaporizer. Another knife. Lock. Huh. That's a scale. weird because it looks like, I guess it's just all wood underneath there. This is a lot deeper than the rest of this place. This would pull out or something. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that answers that question. So the best thing is this. A little piece in this stone. So what's inside the other lockbox? Very fine drug paraphernalia. Hopefully it's not going to be adult materials. It's definitely heavy. Master lock review. Done. I want to cut on the wrong side. I'll probably get off here. Alright. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, baby. Da 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 you see what I see? Single barrel shotgun, unloaded. This is a Winchester Model 37A. Holy smoke. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's a huge rock. Gotta be worth a few dollars. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane. So there's no clip inside. And it is empty. It's a 22. See the name on it right now. It's a Ruger. 22 caliber Ruger. Wow. Alright. What else could be hidden in here? This looks like silver plate. There's a military bag. this inside. Oh, what's this? It's a hand warmer. Something ramped up. Oh, yeah, I heard something. Yep, right there. Let's go to... Oh, that's a bolt for a different gun. Let's see another rifle on here. Look at the signs. Key of Mysteries. Are you trying to find the Key of Mysteries? Oh, you have it. Diploma. Understanding the technology. Flappy disk. Function key. So this is a computer. <laughs> hey, it looks like a toilet. <laughs> Numerology. Wow, wow, wow. We still have this one container left to get. Let's see what's in here. Something wrapped up, but once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why we buy storage units. Never know what we're going to find. Never know what we're going to see. 
for the 900 some dollars. Once again, guys, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate you. That's a clip for the roof. And. Boom. Two clips. Wow, wow, wow. So, like I said, guys, let's never know. Appreciate you watching, but we got some cool stuff out of this unit. You know, we we're hoping for the jeweler box, but sometimes it's not what you see. You make your money off of it's the stuff you don't see. All right, I see some stuff in this bag here. Huh. Some mace gel. You think it works, Shane? Let's find out. Ah! Ooh, what's this? This one feels like well made ninja star. I don't want to test that one either. It's so sharp. It's the sharpest ninja star I've ever seen. Ooh, I just poked myself with it. Is there anything else in here? Something else down here. Something down here, Shane. Oh, God. Little beads. So, more stuff in the military bag. Very cool. Oh my gosh, look at this crazy, crazy storage unit.